JJ Jinx here with Truck Stop Knives. Uh, I'm making this video because I've come across <clears throat> a new series of Ozark Trail Knives for the 2017-2018 holiday season. Um, I check every once in a while on Walmart's website and when I see there's something new, I get really excited and I rush out to get it because I love the 387 collection, I love the dollar knife, I love Ozark Trail stuff. Um, and I found some things that I actually didn't really expect to find that I didn't know had come out yet. Um, and I don't know, I haven't seen any videos on this stuff yet, so this might be an exclusive for you. Now, <clears throat> I have a bunch of videos that I've made and I haven't really made any of them public. Uh, I'm sort of waiting to get a whole bunch of them together and release them all at once, do some video editing. So I'm going to leave this one out there just because this is new stuff. And I just wanted to put it out there for people to be aware of. And uh, without further ado, I will jump right into one of the ones that surprised me. Uh, and I've been saying that they should do this for a very long time. They finally did it, and I like it. <clears throat> uh, I spotted this on a side rack to a end cap in the camping section. It's advertised as an 8-in-1 multi-tool. It's basically a Victorinox uh clone by Ozark Trail and they do print the logo on there which is great I think they should do that with more of their knives I think the Ozark Trail logo is kind of neat um but on so many of their knives they just don't put it on there and they totally could and so it was hanging in a spot <clears throat> where the price was advertised as $22 and change and I was like oh there's no freaking way um uh, so the item numbers didn't match, so I was like, yeah, this ain't $23, I'm getting one. Um, so I got to the register, and it was actually $387. So I think this counts as a part of the, I guess, the third season or the third generation of the 387 Walmart knives. I think it's three iterations at this point, I don't know. So I went and got two of them, and I opened this one, and... Um, it's a, it, exactly what you expect. It's got the blade, bottle opener, can opener, scissors, corkscrew, keychain. No toothpick, no tweezers. Um, and it's not Victorinox quality, that's for sure. But it's not crap quality, like the, the Dollar General version, which oh, I got a couple of them up here somewhere here it is so you can get these at dollar general for a buck and they are awful the steel is thin and mangled and some of the stuff doesn't even open right i won't go too much into it but i've seen these around they're very recognizable by these things here um i've seen them on these like get your company logo printed on it and they're absolute garbage. This one's actually corroding. <laughs> uh, and then the steel's kind of bent up and mangled, so some of the blades don't seat right. It's terrible. It's a dollar, and it's terrible. But this is better than that, so it's not crap, but it ain't Victorinox. Um, it's actually pretty good. I, I think the, the slip joints are pretty strong. The blade's not sharp, but it's not rusted. Uh, everything kind of snaps with a satisfying uh springiness to it you can sort of feel it reverberating through the frame so it's um can opener it was actually sharpened which i thought was kind of neat i actually hadn't seen that before and yeah the the slip joints are good enough to hold it really well and oh that was rough <laughs> So, your Ozark Trail 8-in-1 multi-tool. At this point, they have lots of different multi-tools. 12-in-1, 14-in-1, 5-in-1, whatever. I'm doing videos on all of them. Um, but this is new. I hadn't seen it before. I didn't even see it on their website. I didn't look too hard. Um, so I snatched them up, and they were not in the display case. It was, the stores around me, they, they lock up the knives in a case, and it's a pain. But that wasn't the case. Um... Now, the other thing that I got, um, new knife, sort of, harkens back. I haven't even looked at them extensively. Um, got them out of the cabinet, 
got them in a bag. I haven't looked at them, but from just glancing, I already know what they are. I already know everything about them because I think it's basically uh, one of these. These are what I think are the second part of the second running, the second run of the Ozark Trail knives. These are the same 387 knife. One's blue, one's pink. They're uh, they have aluminum frames, and I won't say too much about them, except that I think what they did was they took the exact same knife and reskinned it. And uh, now I'm going to look at them. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. Weird. I just noticed something. Okay, so they look like this. Um, and yeah, they're they're they are the same. <laughs> And I picked, I got two of them because someday, like a million years from now, but probably not, no, they're not going to be worth anything. I just, I'm one of those guys who like, I, I take one out and play with it, but I keep one in the package and I tried to get them with a couple different patterns. This one's more foresty. This one's more leafy. So it's one of those things where like no two are quite the same, but something I noticed, I just noticed part of the pattern here. It's got that mossy, lo mossy oak logo on it, which is another sort of Walmart, -y, Mar Walmart -y brand. Um, so I guess maybe they own the pattern. Hmm. Well, it's basically one of these, but camo. Uh, so that's fun. <laughs> and speaking of multi-tools, going back to the whole multi-tool thing, I know there's the 387 Ozark Trail multi-tool, which is really great. comes in a pouch. Um, there is a new version of this, which I did not pick up. I had it in my cart. I was going to get it. Um, it looks... Very similar, except it's got rubberized, uh, some kind of rubber handles uh, on the grip part. And it was like 10 bucks. Uh, so I kind of, I don't know. I want a complete Ozark Trail set, but I originally wanted that to be just the knives. So for a long time, it was just the one multi-tool. No big deal. $3.87. Tons of videos on these. They were hard for me to find at first, but now they seem to be everywhere. There was a giant tub full of them, actually, when I went today. And um, now, there, now there's another one, and I, I don't want to collect multi-tools, so I put it back. Another reason why I put it back was because they've got some more package deals going on. Uh, and here is one that comes with a multi-tool, so I didn't want to get a couple of different multi-tools in a row. I spotted this one also on an end cap. I was told these and the newer knives and stuff, they're going to be put out in the aisle in those, like, box display case things, uh, for the holiday. So, that's probably why these were in the wrong place. It was just temporary. But here we have another Mossy Oak set. It's got, uh... A folding knife and a multi-tool with a mossy oak pouch. Um, I haven't opened it yet, obviously, but it looks pretty generic to me. It's a Tanto-style blade with some, um, um, what do you call that, uh, serrations and a molded, kind of molded to your finger kind of handle to it. It's liner lock. Um, I don't really, I can't say too much more about it because it's still in the package, but that was another multi-tool thing. And, but what made me actually go to Walmart in the first place was this item. I saw this online and it's another Masa Yoke product. Uh, I just saw one stack of these in, the, in a, in an end cap, not being very well displayed or advertised because again, they're probably going to be moving these out to the floor, but it's a folding knife two pack one of them with a wooden handle one of them with a mossy oak style you know that's what they do handle um kind of a strange slot here it's like a teardrop spider hole thing i don't know there's some jimping on this one i don't know i haven't had a close look at these i haven't taken them out of the package obviously um and it comes in a tin this is a tin box that it comes with, so you can display it nicely. And uh, on the back, it says Shadow Grass Blades. So 
There's the mossy look mossy oak logo on the bolsters. So this is what I came, went there for. It was $15. Uh, this one I saw hanging on the rack was only $10. And then you had $3.87 for these, $3.87 for these. And there was one knife that I spotted on the website, which they advertised it as a Ozark Trail black knife. Uh, I did not spot one, but it looked to me exactly like this one. This is from Generation 1 of the 387 knives, and it's got the dark Tonto blade liner lock. Um, kind of funky grooving going on in the handle. There's tons of reviews about this crap already. So it looked like this, but all black. So the fact that I didn't find it, I'm not too disappointed, but I could be wrong. It might be... Uh, something else but anyway that's all that I have um, I also finally got my hands on one of these the six-piece knife set I saw it on the ground pretty much and the the packaging is all chewed up and uh, I just kind of slid it open to get one of the knives out and had to have a look so I I don't know how long this has been out I've seen it on the website but these are basically tinier versions of one of these <laughs> so they seem to be kind of recycling the same kind of body style except that they shrunk it but it's got the same kind of jimping their liner locks the only difference is that the handle material on these is a nice softer rubbery stuff and it's got one of those high ride clips on the back which is great uh, <clears throat> and I like how small it is it's a good hand feel I'm gonna talk a lot more about these later but I finally got my six pack and they come in all of these different colors so the fact that I found it just on the ground like that and that I've never never seen it before uh, and it's dated 2016 so it's been around for a while. I've just never seen them. And it was pretty cheap. It was eight bucks for all these. Uh, I like that. So anyway, that's all I wanted to, to go on for over. Uh, in case you were curious about seeing the rest of the tools in this, you've got the main blade. Nothing to say there. Uh, showed you the bottle opener, and then they say that's like a flathead screwdriver at the top. <clears throat> or maybe it's on the can opener. Uh, sorry, this is the bottle opener whatever it's not like I'm ever gonna use this uh, the scissors are not too bad actually these are usually the most terrible part uh, the piece of sprung steel they have is kind of in a neat shape so it stays in there pretty well a lot of times it'll kind of knock off to the side and then the scissoring action doesn't work but I don't know now the Phillips head screwdriver on this is kind of neat. Um, it's behind the corkscrew. So corkscrew takes a lot to open and a lot to close, which is good because it'll stay where you put it for when, if and when you actually ever use it so that this thing doesn't shut on your thumb or whatever. The flat head is really flat. Or I'm sorry, the Phillips head part is really flat. It's just kind of got a couple of grooves so it can unscrew a Phillips head screw but it's not rounded which I th I've never seen that before I thought that's kind of interesting and it's got the little keychain and the logo that I really like okay and that's all for today see ya